Congressman, thanks for coming in. Glad to be with you, Wolf. How difficult of a position is the speaker in right now from your perspective? I'm very proud of the speaker. You see, the American people have spoken very clearly. They don't want the government shut down. They don't, do not want America to default upon its debts, but they don't want Obamacare, and that's what this whole issue is all about. Obamacare is already destroying job creation. It's already hurting our economy. It's going to destroy the occupational relationship. It's going to destroy the quality of health care in America. It's going to destroy budgets from family budgets, business budgets, all the way up to the federal budget, and it must stop. And that's what this fight's all about. But you know, of course, and you're a physician, you know, it's the law of the land. It was passed by the House and Senate, signed into law by the president. The Supreme Court uh, approved it, saying it was constitutional. The president was reelected by five million votes. Uh, so it is the law of the land uh, right now, as you well know. Well, Wolf, it's the flaw of the land in actuality because it's hurting our economy. It's hurting the American people. We already see reports all across America where people are losing their jobs. Uh, I talked to a businessman who has over 200 employees that are full-time, and he's going to release them all and hire people back part-time. We're having people all over this country hurt by Obamacare. It must go. It, uh, right now today, government is spending too much, taxing too much, regulating too much, borrowing too much. Both parties are guilty, and it must stop. And that's what this fight's all about. Obamacare is the flaw of so the land, and it, it must go away. What would it take for you, Congressman, to vote in favor of reopening the federal government, ending the government shutdown? Well, if I voted over and over again to try to reopen parts of the government, and we must uh, reopen the government, and I'm all in favor of that. Republicans are all in favor of that. But the thing is, we've got a law on the land, the flaw of the land, Obamacare, that is hurting our economy. It's so hurting the American take, people so, today. So, and it's so hurting specific, the most... Be okay. specific. What would it take for you to vote in favor of ending the government shutdown? Well, I want to see Obamacare rescheduled for the implementation. We need to defund it. We need to delay it. We need to put it on the shelf and stop this implementation because it but is you know destroying the our economy gonna, today. You know the president, the president's not going to do that, Congressman. Well, uh, the American people are hurting. They demand, if enough American people demand that this thing be put on hold, that we delay the implementation, we defund it for now, that we just put it on hold and reschedule the implementation till we can do something that makes sense. My Patient Option Act is the thing that makes sense because my Patient Option Act literally will lower the health care costs for all Americans. It will right. provide access to good quality health care for everybody in this country, and it's going to save Medicare from going broke. That's the kind of policy so we must put be, in place instead of the Obamacare. I just want to be precise. As far as the government shutdown, you demand at least some concession on Obamacare. What about raising the nation's debt ceiling by October 17th? What would it take for you, Congressman, to vote in favor of raising the debt ceiling? Well, nobody wants to see America default. In fact, we will not default. It's absolutely critical that we not default. But President Obama just the other day said that raising the debt ceiling was not going to cost a single dime. He said it's not going to uh, grow our deficit by one single dime. How preposterous is that? Our American people are saddled with a debt that's totally unsustainable. Every single man, woman, and child in this country right now today has a part of that debt of $53,000 right. so, per person. It's but I just want to be precise. It has to quit. What concession would you like to see the president make that would enable you to vote in favor of raising the debt ceiling? I'd like to see us pass my balanced budget amendment, which is the only one that is the, it's the best one out there. Family businesses, families themselves have to live with their, in their budget. And we must balance our budget. We must right. balance, pass so, a balanced but, budget. But you're not demanding, you're not demanding any, any concessions on Obamacare in order to raise the debt ceiling. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, Obamacare must go. It, it's, it's destroying America. But as America, far as raising the debt ceiling, as... are you linking Obamacare to raising the debt ceiling? Well, we've got to stop that spending wolf and that's the bottom line and Obamacare just spends too much taxes too much regulates too much and borrows too much and and it's just 
it's going to be the biggest spending issue of the federal government if we don't put it on hold. And that's what I'm fighting for, is to put it on hold, to right. delay it, to defund it, so that we can get the American people policy that makes sense for them. And my Patient Option Act is that solution. Right, and I just want to be precise. As far as ending the government shutdown, you do want to link to some aspect of Obamacare, but you're not necessarily requiring a link to Obamacare to vote in favor of raising the debt ceiling. Is, is that accurate? Well, if I want to get the American people the relief that they need from this out-of-control spending, and I'll do everything that I possibly can to do that. And Obamacare is going to destroy everything that we know as a, as a nation. So we've got to focus on, on doing something to, to work for the American people. That's what I'm in the, this process of doing, is working for the hard-working Americans. Barack Obama has given his big business buddies an exemption. We've got to exempt right. America from Obamacare, and that's what I'm fighting for. You obviously hate Obamacare, and, and I was intrigued because <laughs> I, I saw a quote. Well, I, I, I'm a I, medical I doctor. Your, and I, I know your position. <laughs> I know your position. You were a little bit more extreme in that National Review Online article. I'm going to read to you the quote you said, and you just tell me if you're still sticking by what you said to the National Review Online. You said, America is going to be destroyed by Obamacare, so whatever deal is put together must at least reschedule the, the implementation of Obamacare. This law is going to destroy America and everything in America, and we need to stop it. Uh, you still stand by all those pretty uh, extreme well, words? Well, I've already told you today, Obamacare is, going, is already destroying job creation. It's already hurting our economy. We've just got to put Obamacare on hold. We've got to, to defund it, delay it, and hopefully eventually repeal it and replace it with my Patient Option Act, which is the only thing that really makes the sen sense for the American people. It makes sense for good quality health care. It makes sense economically. It'll help all Americans be able to buy insurance and have access to good, high quality health care for all Americans. And that's the kind of policy that we need to put in place, not Obamacare. All right. I know you hate it, uh, but I just want to be precise, and then I'll let you go. America is going to be destroyed, you say, by, um, by Obamacare. America, this United States of America, is going to be destroyed if this law is fully implemented. Is that what I hear you say? It, it's... It's already destroying jobs. It's going to destroy our liberty. I know you say it's destroying everything. jobs, but you're it's, not saying America, the United States of America, this country of ours, will be destroyed by Obamacare. I, that's what well, you quoted here as saying. I just want to give you a chance to revise and amend if you'd like to. Well, it's going to take us off the edge economically. It's going to destroy our economy, and it's going to, to push us into a total economic collapse of, of America, and that's exactly what I mean by it's going to destroy America. All right, uh, Congressman, thanks very much. You're running for that uh, Republican senatorial nomination in Georgia as the Saxby Chambliss seat, right? That's correct. All right, we'll have many, oppor exactly what I'm, that we'll I'm have many opportunities America, to discuss. I'm... We'll have many opportunities to continue this conversation if you're willing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks, Will. God Congressman bless you. Bravo.